Um, I actually really like Star Trek, and I think it's better than Star Wars, even though Star Wars is good, too. Oh, um, she's opening salve, open and fire right off the bat. Three. Well, it's just... It's more relatable, I guess. Okay. Um, good evening, and welcome to the channel. I am Old Dead Man. We're trying a little bit of a family togetherness activity here and uh, having some fun reviewing Star Trek Lower Decks. Uh, this is what my family thinks of it, and uh, thought we'd go through each episode and see what you think. If you enjoy this type of, uh, of content, let me know. Tell me what you think of the video overall, and uh, thank you very much. Enjoy! Alright, so we just finished watching the first episode of Star Trek Lower Decks, and... Um, my initial thoughts on it were that the uh, that uh, it feels like Star Trek. Just to give you some background on you know my experience, I have watched the original series, all of them. I've watched uh, all the movies, including the JJ Verse movies. I've watched uh, DS Nine, most of the episodes, the Next Generation, most of the episodes, um, Voyager, most of the episodes, Enterprise, most of the episodes. So uh, I've got a fairly uh, robust history with Star Trek. I've also done a little bit of role play uh, stuff in Star Trek universe. So not cosplay, that's a different thing. I'm talking role playing. So uh, I've got a fairly uh, robust understanding of the Star Trek universe. That's not to say I'm an expert. I'm not going to be the guy who's going to be able to quote you the shield frequency of the, of the Enterprise D on the episode where Jordy LaForge uh, was, uh, had a bug put into his visor. Uh, but I do enjoy the, the universe. I do enjoy the, um, the stories they're told. Uh, Lower Decks strikes me as very much in that same vein with a more comedic uh, tone to it. It was very enjoyable and fun. I did, do wish they would reduce the amount of language that they did use. They did bleep out the worst of it, which helps a ton from my personal perspective. And makes it so I feel a little better about sharing it with my family, including my children. What did you think of the first episode of Lower Decks? It, it was funny. <laughs> it, was fun. it was entertaining, yeah. Did, did like you have it. a favorite part? Um, probably the mentor part. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was really funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's like, you don't get a choice in this matter. Uh-huh. So, um... Okay, now you've got a little bit of experience with Star Trek. What do you remember? Besides this, obviously. <laughs> do you remember anything about Star Trek? It's been a while, so I don't remember a whole bunch of details. Okay. Um, let's see, did it feel like Star Trek to you? Star Trek seems more serious than that. Okay, gotcha. So this is more of a funny comedy type thing. Okay. Um, do you... Uh, what do you think is the best part about the the, uh, the episode? Probably the fact that it's fast paced and not overly long, so okay. you aren't sitting there for like hours on end watching a comedy show that you may or may not want to watch. So good pacing, yeah. good timing. Uh, you enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. The episode started strong. It did have the uh, the introduction now that uh, we're in. Uh, Boimler and Mariner were talking right off the bat. It was hilarious, the interactions, the uh, fact that she forgot what the Batleth was called. And yet she was, uh, she was, Rawr! all about honor, 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 wharf, wharf, wharf. And the references to previous Star Trek series were thick. I really liked uh, uh, Star Trek Below Decks a lot. Uh, I thought it was, at least the first episode, my first impressions on it was, I'm really enjoying the high-energy characters. I'm enjoying the new new content, if that makes sense, because, uh, like, the original Star Trek, I have a large library of Star Trek uh, from many years of, of watching. Right. Um, whereas most of the Star Trek episodes that you used to see were about, uh, like, you had... Basically, it was a little bit of an adventure that you were going on. Uh, for an hour and a half or so ish, maybe who knows, and it would have beginning, middle, end. You'd figure out like you'd be presented with a mystery, you were presented with this, that information, etc., until they figured it out or did whatever they were did these dangerous situations. They did this, that's whatnots. It was like an adventure. This one seems to uh, compact it, if that makes sense, and it uh, comedicizes it a lot more, which I personally am very much enjoying. Uh, a lot of the Star Trek stuff was very serious, 
Except for maybe the more recent movies, but that's just because they decided to throw uh, a Playboy at it. So right, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like uh, it's different from the normal Star Trek series, but it's in the same setting, and I'm really a huge fan of that. Okay. Um, I'd have to say that probably my favorite part was the first like three minutes, the introduction of just the characters, the scenarios, the everything. Because that was something that was beautifully crafted that 99% of everything else doesn't do. Right. It gave you, this is what's going on. These are the, your main characters. It said, this is their personality types. It said, you know, this is what's going on. You've got these two, you got this, that's. And it, the other thing it did really well is it didn't focus solely on the two main characters. It went from this and that and whatnot and what. It was just very interesting. The first three minutes, it it looped me in, it kept me there, and I really enjoyed it. Okay, and then, of course, he got stabbed. That was great. <laughs> Did it feel like Star Trek to you? Knowing yeah. that there were comedic differences there. Oh, yeah, of course. It felt like Star Trek to me. It, it was just... It's in the same universe. I could tell it off the bat. A. B. And it, 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 it it's just entirely... <laughs> okay, the, probably the funniest part was that they made the uh, the officers in the bridge, they made them, like, super serious and really stupid <laughs> because they do that a lot in the old Star Trek <laughs> stuff. They're like, ah, evasive maneuvers. It's like, why? <laughs> Shoot them. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that was great. But no, I like Blow Decks. Uh, it does feel like Star Trek. And I think a lot of it is that this is a, a love of Star Trek in those that write the series. Uh, they know the background that they're coming from. They know where, where they're speaking to, for lack of a better way to say it. They love Star Trek. They love to reference Star Trek. And they want it to be feel like Star Trek, even though they are taking it from a more, more funny uh, story uh, perspective. The main plot was uh, the one with the alien virus being put into um, First Officer Ransom, uh, Commander Ransom. He gets bit by a bug right before they transport out. With the uh, secondary plot being, I, I would actually peg the Rutherford Tendy uh, interactions along with Rutherford's date with the oh with the na I don't, the name of the other uh, uh, person escapes me. Rutherford's date though was was what I would consider the B plot. And I think the overarching tying together was the Boimler Mariner, uh, which kind of threaded all throughout the episode and tied everything together. They did a good job of, inter of interlacing the, the plots, making it so that each part of it affected the other parts and did not seem to play too heavy handed. Obviously, you had a more um, comedic tone, mm -hmm. kind of like you mentioned before. There were far more adult references and and language uh, compared to the original. Uh, my favorite part was uh, at the part um, when that spider monster was chasing them and down. Okay. It heavily plays on the idea that they are serious and uh, and like are serious adventurers, but it's kind of more of pathetic wannabes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just it's yeah considering the time frame they're having to work in the short time running time where they're expecting to be able to use it on a uh, broadcast television format with the commercials they actually did a very good job of of pulling the plot in it would have been nice to see uh, a little more i would actually like to see this run about another eight minutes if I was my preference, get it about 30 minutes in total. And I think that would probably, if you fluffed out that plot just a little bit there, it would have uh, really kind of brought the episode in perfect. That said, when you look at it from the perspective of the lower decks officers, it makes a lot of sense. They're not truly involved in the A plot. They're affected by the A-plot, and Boimler coming back covered in alien mucus is what solved the A-plot. But in the end, all the pieces and parts of that A-plot were uh, all above their level. It was, it, was a, it was a theme that ran through the episode more than, than actually being the driving factor. 
it was really funny and um exciting so like very fast like fast paced yeah okay and some parts made me uncomfortable like i said but yeah it was really good and funny my favorite part was in the beginning um whenever mariner stabbed the dude in the leg boiler yeah yeah <laughs> she was drunk it was so funny so the, with the focus on the lower decks personnel, the people that uh, that are down in the bottom of the ship, it means that it doesn't matter what the doctor does to synthesize a cure. They can skip all of that because that's outside of the people we are talking about. And I think it works. It really does. Um, It's really fast right off from the bat. Um, There's a bunch of humor in it. Yeah, I thought it was good. Okay, great. Good to hear. Um, do you have a favorite part of the episode? Yes. What part is that? Yes. You enjoyed the entire episode? Yeah. Were there any parts you didn't like? I mean, the swearing caught me off guard. <laughs> okay, good point. Because there's just something about like animated characters swearing. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right, huh? Uh, we'll see what the next episode brings. Uh, I have watched a few um, online reviews of the series. And, of course, I am recording this after we have bought the actual box set. of Not box set, but the uh, first season on DVD. So we're going to be uh, trying this out, seeing if we like it. And if it turns out when we watch the last episode that we like this overall, we'll see about picking up the second set and reviewing it as well. 